Well, hello, beautiful souls. It's your girl, Jane, coming at you with another video. And as you can tell by the title, this video is going to be all about unique perfumes. Y'all said y'all wanted this, so here y'all go. We might need a drink, we might need a snack, but I'm gonna try to get through this and not speed through it, but be as thorough and detailed, but clear and concise. Okay, so I hope y'all like this format. I have some honorable mentions, but I also have my full list. I tried not to repeat from my previous video, which was like underrated gems. I also feel like these fragrances are underrated. So with that long intro, out of the way if you guys are interested in seeing what unique perfumes are on my list today then go ahead and just keep on watching So if you are new to my channel, hello again. My name is Jane. welcome. And if you are returning, thank you so, so much for clicking back onto another video. I truly, truly appreciate you guys' support. So if you have not already, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and join the family and give this video a thumbs up if you wanna see my videos from moi. Now let's hop right in. I'ma just speed through the lip combo because we have a long video. I did a little concoction, okay? I started off with Charlotte Tilbury's Lip Cheat in the shade Pillow Talk 3 Intense, followed up with Morphe's Sweet Tea Lip Liner. Then I went ahead and put on Kali Cosmetics Almost Ready Liquid Lipstick, followed up with Anastasia Beverly Hills Sunday's Lip Gloss. This combo is fire. Like, this might be my summer nude combo. It's fire. I love it. Any discount codes that I have for any fragrance, all links, everything is gonna be in the description box. I'm gonna be doing my best to link everything and have everything already there for y'all. So let's get into my scent of the day. Leave your scent of the day or night down below. I would absolutely love to know. Let's chit chat, let's talk. Okay, I love to know what you're wearing because a lot of y'all be wearing some gems that I never heard of and I love the dialogue. Today I'm actually wearing a fragrance that <laughs> I probably shouldn't be wearing, but I really, really love the story behind it and I love the scent. This is Click Song from Une Nui Nomad. I absolutely love this scent because it is patchouli heavy. If you know me, if you have been rocking with me for years, okay, I've been doing fragrance content for four years now, this month, and I absolutely love patchouli, especially like a nice earthy patchouli. And if it goes chocolatey too, that is the way to get me. This is a gorgeous earthy, floral fragrance it has this beautiful woodiness to it as well this resinous touch it's absolutely gorgeous i'm not gonna go too in depth with this fragrance but it is unique to me it's absolutely beautiful i love 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 this scent i do want to do a dedicated house review on this like a sip and sniff so that's my scent of the day leave yours down below now hopping into the first honorable mention i only have a sample of this one because i don't think i will ever have a full bottle of this fragrance this is coven from the house of andrea Mac. I think that this was probably the most unique fragrance I got my nose on in 2023. So Twisted Lily had this meeting with Andrea Mack and I was invited to go so I was able to sniff the entire collection and Andrea Mack explained every single fragrance with us and we were able to sniff with her and she was able to explain just the whole concept behind her brand and each story behind each fragrance. And the story behind this scent was very fun. So to me I really find this fragrance to be challenging because in a way I like it but then I also don't like it at the same time it's like this weird like push and pull like I want to like you so bad but I want to hate you so bad at the same time so it's very confusing for me it's a very conflicting feeling so that's why I'm just like I don't think I'll ever have it in my collection because I feel like I'll smell it but then I will never wear it but then I might spray it but then I'll probably never wear it out like it would just be this conflicting feeling I'm gonna spray it <laughs> I don't know me and Coven we just even the juice like if you look at the juice I'm gonna just show you guys it's very interesting because it smells like damp oak moss with like cedar but it has like whiskey like booze drizzled over it with vanilla it just smells very woody and earthy and green i get a ton of that oak moss but I get the sweet nuances from the vanilla. And I think that the booziness from the whiskey has sweet touches as well. So it's like this push and pull from like this sweetness. I love oak moss and fragrances, but it can't be too intense. And this is very intense. I feel like I'm in the woods. Like I feel like I'm in an enchanted forest. And I believe that was like the vibe that she wanted to go for. It smells very enchanted. Like I would wear this on Halloween and that's it. Like if I was a witch. 
it's so unique to the point where I don't feel like it's wearable but it's so interesting to smell because you really get the layers and it develops so beautifully and it tells a story which oh it's just it's so creative and it is so expressive and that just makes me love it more so that's why I'm happy I have the sample because I could smell it and it just brings me right back to that moment where I discovered it so yeah coven First honorable mention, we're going to get into the next one because we'll be here all day if I was explaining everything like that. But I just want to let you guys know that that is a very unique fragrance. And if that sounds enchanting to you, try it out. I think you should try it out, test it out. It is very interesting. But for me personally, with my taste, it's not for me and that's okay. But it is very unique. It is very enchanting and it's very interesting. I feel like that is a very fun fragrance, but it's just not my type. And... I think it's just fun, it's interesting. Let's get into the next honorable mention. Now this scent is one I talked about in my last video, my hidden gems, my underrated fragrance video. I'll leave that linked in the eye in the sky for you guys to check out after this one if you are interested. This is Aoud Orchid from Mansara, you guys. This one is absolutely stunning. This is a sweet tropical floral fragrance. You get some fruitiness in there. You get this beautiful muskiness to it, some sweetness. It's absolutely incredible. I'm not gonna go into too much detail about this one because I did go into depth in that video, but but it's beautiful. Mansara can do no wrong to me because the fragrances perform incredibly. I absolutely love the creativity that Mansara does with their scents and <laughs> This scent is just so underrated. I feel like more people need to talk about this. You can find this on the gray market for like $60 or $70. I got mine from Joma Shop like a year ago. People need to talk about this scent more. Please, y'all. Just, just trust me. Get this bottle. Spray it. Wear it. You can wear this year round. I personally will wear it like spring, summer, for the nighttime, fall, winter, day or night. This is a gorgeous fragrance and you will smell unique. No one will smell like you because people don't know people don't know they don't know about Aoud Orchid I'm telling you it's gorgeous absolutely stunning you don't smell the oud that's in this fragrance I'm telling you she is a beauty you can layer her with other fragrances wear her on her own she just gives she just gives like oh love that fragrance I'm telling you if you buy her you will love her you will smell unique you will be that girl and they're gonna just be like what are you wearing like I've never smelled anything that smells like that I've never smelt it and it's gonna be you and you're gonna be memorable because you smell unique. All right, last but certainly not least, when it comes to these unique fragrances, the next unique fragrance, not only is the bottle unique, but the fragrance is unique specifically for this house. This is Wednesday from House of Siage. You guys, this scent right here, I was so shook when they came out with this fragrance and then they sent it to me. I said, okay. Send me the fragrance, okay? But this fragrance to me is just a beautiful, warm, spicy, woody floral fragrance. I love me rose. I love me a good rose scent. And this is a beautiful rose scent. This is very dark and mysterious. I talked about this in my dark and mysterious fragrances video. This gives that energy. I'm telling you, this is so pretty. You get some saffron, you get some rose. You also get some patchouli, you get some agar wood, you get some vetiver. This is not for everybody. This scent is not gonna be for everybody, but I will tell you, if you love to smell dark and mysterious, this will be for you. If you are the type of person that likes packaging, you might just buy it for the bottle. And she's been going on sale. I think she's like 50% off right now. You might need to grab her because look, she's cute. She's cute, especially for House of Siage. She performs beautifully. I'm here for it. She smells unique specifically for the House of House of Siage. It's unlike anything they've ever done. So I'm here for it. And if you want to smell unique and you like rose with some, you know, some earthiness, a little spice to it, you know, a little something different, get you Wednesday and she's 50% off. I think it's a great deal. You cannot beat it. All right, now that we got those out of the way, let's go ahead and get into the nitty gritty. I'm not going to spend too much time on these because I already kept y'all for coven. Okay, that was a long one. But the first fragrance I want to talk to you guys about that's on this list is Jardin's Demisfa. This fragrance is a decadent, warm, spicy fragrance. It's sweet. It has this nutty factor to it as well. Not only do you get this delicious, creamy dates note, you also get some cardamom. You 
you get some nutmeg, you get this rose note. You also get some almond and you get saffron. So it's beautiful, it's very unique, it's very, very delicious and decadent. So you won't be going around smelling like everybody. I don't have many fragrances with the note of dates. Una Nuit Nomad is a fragrance house that I feel like more people need to talk about because not only are their prices very, 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 very affordable for a high quality niche house, but they also have amazing, very unique fragrances. I feel like they have been talked about a lot in the community for a reason because they have bangers. Almost every fragrance in the house that I've smelled have been bangers. There have been a few that I'm not the biggest fan of, but for the most part, they have very great fragrances. So, Jardis de Misfa from Une Nuit Nomad is very, very nice. Really, really, really beautiful fragrance, very unique. The next unique fragrance on my list is Jasmine and Tobacco from Nishama. If you wanna smell opulent, if you wanna smell unique, if you wanna smell just balanced, baby, that's what this fragrance is. This is so addictive, it's like an aphrodisiac in a bottle. This is floral, it's sweet, it's resinous, it's woody. It has this beautiful like aura about it. I cannot describe it. This has jasmine, benzoin, labdanum. It really has this ambery touch to it. You get cedarwood, sandalwood, and of course you get tobacco. I am just head over heels for this. This is a small indie niche house in London and the perfumer makes these fragrances in small batches. I just, I, you can tell that these fragrances are made with love. You can just tell. When the brand sent over the sample pack, Jasmine and Tobacco, the, the moment I sprayed it, I was like, this is the one. I need a full bottle ASAP. And they sent over a bottle and I was just so excited. I was so excited. And it just smells incredible. The fragrance wears so beautifully on the skin. It smells so balanced, but it smells so rich and opulent. If you wanna smell sexy. And the tobacco is like not really an ashy tobacco, but it's not a wet tobacco either. It's not sweet, but it's not too masculine. It's like perfectly balanced. You get this like masculine and feminine energy. Like I love the balance between the delicate jasmine and the rough, heavy resinous notes and the tobacco. It just, it balances out so beautifully. Let's get on to the next fragrance. Next we have one that I didn't think that I would like too much. I haven't used it much, but I like it for reference. This is Ebony Wood from Zara. Now this fragrance is one that's very simple. It's just a warm, spicy, woody fragrance I would categorize this as. You just have ebony wood, you have clove, and you also have pink pepper. So it's just like warm, spicy, and woody. That's what I would say. It also has a little bit of this like green touch to it to my nose. I don't know why. I just get this like green touch to it. I just feel like it just has this uniqueness to it. It's really unique in my opinion. I feel like for this to be only $40, it smells a lot more expensive than what it is. They have changed the bottle, so the bottle does look a little bit different. But I do think that this is really good like this is a really good launch from Zara and if you are on a budget and you want to smell unique I think ebony wood is the way to go this fragrance lost the hype over the last couple of years and I really don't understand why this is a really really good fragrance now for me personally it's not really my zhuzh but I do like to layer with other fragrances when it's colder but this last year for some reason I really didn't reach for it I didn't really talk too long about this one because I don't know it's not really special it doesn't perform the best it doesn't really stick out to me I actually prefer other fragrances over this one but it is still a nice fragrance to have especially if you are on a budget and you want to smell unique so I wanted to include this because this is a nice unique fragrance but it is very simple it's very linear it's not doing too much but it is pretty unique all right staying on trend with a budget now I prefer this fragrance a lot more than the last one this is Billie Eilish number two now this scent right here this scent surprised me so much because it just smells so expensive this is an earthy woody spicy fragrance it also has a little bit of a musky touch to it as well I feel like it just smells just incredible what really sticks out to me in this fragrance is that Palo Santo note you also get some papyrus you get some black pepper there are other notes like bergamot but you don't really get that you really mainly just get the spices like the black pepper you get the palo santo note which is very intense so this smells very expensive it smells very high quality it smells like it's on the niche end of things so for this to be a celebrity fragrance, it was very shocking to me. So yeah, Billie Eilish and her team, they killed this one. And I'm so upset because this is the only like 50 ml bottle that I have. The other two I got 100 ml bottles of. So yeah, I'm going to be doing a ranking video one of these days. I don't know when because all these launches is just coming out, coming out, coming out. 
but I would say that this is definitely my favorite out of the three. It's between this one and the first one, but this one is so good. Like, it's just so good. So, so good. It smells so unique. It smells so expensive. And for this to be under 70 US dollars, it's crazy, 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 crazy good. Eilish number two from Billie Eilish is bomb, super unique. All right, this next fragrance, I talk about a lot. <laughs> Well, I've been talking about a lot. This is Philosophia from the House of Day 3, y'all. Oh, this it just makes me so happy. It makes me so freaking happy. This is their take on a gourmand. This is sweet, warm, spicy. It has this beautiful nuttiness. It's musky. It's a little bit leathery. Mm, this opens up with some black pepper along with some cardamom with a little bit of bergamot, okay? And as the fragrance dries down, that's where you get that nutty hazelnut. You get some cipriol. You also get some tobacco along with some cashmere. Now in the deep dry down, that's where it starts to get fun, okay? You get some musk, you get some leather. You also get some chocolate and some vanilla. So for me personally, I get a lot of that musk. I get a lot of that leather. I get that chocolate and I do get that vanilla. And then the tobacco kind of adds this smoky edge, which I find to be super sexy with that chocolate. It just makes everything kind of more gender neutral instead of going super gourmand and super foody. It just makes it smell more like a fragrance, especially if a gentleman wears it, it just makes it a little bit more sexy. So Philosophia, very, very sexy, very, very sensual, date not appropriate, gender fluid. Highly recommend this one. Check this house out. Check the description box because I think I got a little cold with them. Super unique. Now this fragrance is probably really hard to find, but I had to talk about it because to me it's super unique. This is currently my favorite Tom Ford fragrance. This is Champaka Absolute. Oh my God. I believe Pika, Pika, I don't know if she's making content anymore, but she talked about this fragrance maybe like three years ago and I had to jump on it because she described it and I'm like, this sounds like something I would love and I absolutely love it. This is probably one of my favorite like tropical floral fragrances in my collection. It's super unique and I believe there's like a, a unique wine note in here that kind of makes it smell tropical and the Champaka flower, of course. But this fragrance is like a tropical floral. It's sweet. It's kind of boozy at the same time. It's floral. It's woody. So you get the Champaka flower. You get this boozy wine accord. You get amber. You get some jasmine, some sandalwood. It's very simple. It's not doing too much, but it is very, very unique. And I just really, really enjoy this fragrance. This one in particular, like I said, is one of my favorites. Also, Santal Blush. I feel like Santal Blush is also a very unique Tom Ford fragrance, which I own. I really enjoy, but I don't wear it often. But I chose Champaka Absolute because I don't hear really anyone in the fragrance community talking about it except for Pika. I think she's the only person I heard talking about it, and that's when I picked it up a few years ago. This is kind of like my hidden gem in my collection. This is kind of like my unicorn, and I'm not gonna harp on this because I probably won't be able to find a link for you guys, and if I can, it's probably like a decant. So, yeah, Champaka absolute super unique really enjoy it probably my favorite from Tom Ford all right this is the next fragrance I have a dedicated review on so I'm gonna just blast through this one this is Ambrosia Imperial from Novitas Parfums this is a collaboration with AI the great the girl Aisha okay she killed this launch she really did I'm not gonna go into detail y'all can check out my review y'all probably already own this or y'all probably already seen a review so you already know this fragrance to me is super unique because not only does this have a banana note in it like who has a fragrance fragrance with banana in it not that many this was so beautifully done I feel like this launch this collaboration with Novitas really took their private line to the next level I feel like this really exceeded all of our expectations with these collaborations with the content creators like this this launch right here it did something for the brand of Novitas and I'm so, so proud of AI. Like this, this was really, really good. Super, super, super good, super good. So Ambrosia Imperial, very unique. I really enjoy that one. I feel like that one, that one's great. That one's great. Now, this is a pretty new launch by The Dent. You can tell I enjoy this. This is Amore Cafe from Mancera now. For me trying to do my research, it seems like y'all like this one too. I feel like there's something on my eye, y'all, and I can't get it off. Did I get it? Oh, I got it. It's been something on my eye, and I could not get it off. I feel like I just got it. Anyways, Amore Cafe. Holy crap. This is beautiful. It is a sweet, boozy, slightly resinous fragrance. Honestly, I just, I love it. It's creamy, it's like tonic. It has an ice cream note, it has that amaretto note, it has that gray amber. It is incredible. Vanilla, it's incredible. And I can tell that the girls and the guys are loving it because it's sold out 
everywhere. You cannot find this freaking everywhere. Man, Sarah is sold out. I think Twisted Lily might have it, and I got a code with them. So if you want a sample, you already know what to do. But <laughs> I'm just saying, this is great. It's fantastic. The dent, you can already tell I, I love it. I adore it. It's super unique because I love Amaretto Sours. So the fact that this has an Amaretto note in it, just fun. It's unique. It's, it's just gave us something to look forward to that's really, really cool. So... Amore Cafe. I'm here for it. The Instagram, TikTok brand that we love, okay? Kaoli, invite only. They killed this one. I feel like this is one that should get the hype. Everyone talks about Vanilla 28. Everyone talks about Vanilla 28, and I think it's because it's just very easy. But this is the one. Oh, invite only. This is the one. Chocolatey, sweet, ambery, just resinous, woody, fruity. Like, they killed this one. They killed this one. This is the launch that people needed to just hype up. I used to not like this as much, but I feel like as this fragrance developed and matured, this has gone up on my list because it's so unique. It's so delicious. That cherry note that's in here is crazy with that chocolate note, the amber. Like you cannot tell me that this is not incredible. It's so sexy for Kaoli. It's so sexy in general. Like you can find this in Sephora. What? Like Sephora has the frou-frou cute fragrances. And the longer that you have this, the better it performs. I'm just, I'm here for it. I love it. Kaoli, Invite only, Amber 23, incredible. Mona, Kaoli, I think it's incredible. Fight me. <laughs> Speaking of fighting, this fragrance right here. Okay, I had this scent when it was in the old bottle. When it was in the first original bottle. I had this fragrance so long that it turned green. And I know that sounds nasty, but. <laughs> Byron Parfums, y'all should know I've been rocking with y'all for a minute. I had that fragrance back in like 2020. Like, I've been rocking with y'all for a minute. I've seen the growth. I've seen the change. Even my old, I have the old The Chronic bottle. Okay, I have the old The Chronic bottle. And my, let, let me show y'all something. Hold on. I need to show. I need to dust off my fragrances. Okay, so this is the old The Chronic bottle. Look at this. <laughs> my cap is like stuck inside. And I think that might be why they updated their bottles. I'm telling y'all, I've been having this for a long time. And this is like the old model. This is actually the updated old bottles. And then they updated it again to these bottles. But yeah, I love me some Byron Parfums. The long story is I love Byron Parfums. I've been rocking with them for a long time. But the fragrance that I find to be super unique, I love the Chronic, but Mula Mula was the first fragrance that I was introduced to that stole my heart. The OG, Mula Mula. This scent right here, is gorgeous. Not only is it sweet, it's fruity, it's juicy, it's gourmand. This has a ton of fruity notes, a ton. You get peach, you get strawberry, you get raspberry, but you also get caramel, you get oud, you get musk, but you also get some spice from some ginger, you get some labdenum. This fragrance is beautiful, it's super sexy. My wife loves this on me and she does not like oud, so that tells you something. The oud is not too intense, but it's there, but it grounds the fragrance. The amber is pretty intense as well. What I get the most is the amber. It's not really the oud, it's so sexy to me. Oh my God, and the fruitiness the caramel with the berries like it just really makes this fragrance so unique and so wearable a little bit goes a long way so please don't overspray this fragrance because you're choking everybody out unless you want to make a statement if you're going to be like in an open room like a black tie event or something i will say overspray <laughs> but if you're going to be in a closed confined area please don't please don't overspray this but yeah mula mula super unique love it we're nearing to the end this one <laughs> I'm gonna just shoot it to you straight. Gris Chanel, the Extrite. I like the OG, but I love the Extrite. This one is super unique. The OG, I feel like put BDK on the map. That and um, Rouge Smoking, those two put BDK on the map. This one, this one is making BDK a legacy, okay? This is super unique. It is the more intense version of Gris Chanel. This one, it's woody, it's sweet, it's fruity, it's spicy. This is a sandalwood lover, sandalwood cardamom fig tea like that's what this is if you love cardamom you're gonna love this if you love sandalwood you're gonna love this if you love fig you're gonna love this if you love a black tea note you're gonna love this that's what this is literally in in a nutshell period like that's what it is and i love that because i love gris charnel but the fact that they just 
amped up everything and kept everything pretty much the same but just amped it up I'm here for it and I love that like I love that idea and I love how BDK just kept pretty much the essence of Gris Chanel the same they just intensified every element of it oh and it just made it so much better people say that this is more of a masculine version but I don't find it masculine at all I just find it just more intense and it's sexy to me like I would say Gris Chanel the OG is more spring summer rainy day and Gris Chanel Extrite is like fall winter love this super unique if you wear this no one's gonna smell like you unless like they're a frag head and they own it but like most people in most places aren't frag heads and they won't even know what you smell like or what it is and even if they are we all have different body chemistries and this is stunning especially if you're a woman and you wear this in all black Woo! do it do it do it do it all right speaking of all black this is this is the one whatever you identify as wear all black when you wear this and i'm telling you telling you you are gonna get at least one compliment look friendly okay don't be searching for a compliment but look approachable don't be like looking all stank look approachable and i guarantee you you're gonna get a compliment i'm telling you listen to me triumph of bacchus from argos Listen, hear me out. Warm, spicy, boozy, a little fruity, ambery, vanillic, a little musky. That's what this is. This fragrance opens up with some rum. You get that saffron. Ooh, you get that peach. You get some green apple. The opening is my favorite. But then as the fragrance dries down, you get some jasmine. You get some tonka bean. You get some patchouli. My goodness. But in the deep dry down, that's where you get that tobacco. You get some vanilla. You get some musk. Oh, I love it. That amber is nice too. Oh, this is so sexy. It's so sexy. And the bottle. Come on now. The bottle. Stop it. Stop it, Argo. Argos. You should be ashamed. Look how freaking gorgeous this bottle is. Stop it. It is a work of art. And the fact that this 30 mil bottle is $125, what am I supposed to do when I run out of this? You want me to throw this bottle away? You must be out of your mind. It's the details for me. It's the details for me. This is the fragrance you wear in all black. This is the fragrance you wear to impress. This is the fragrance. If you want to smell unique, sexy, if you want to allure, Triumph of Bacchus is the way to go. That's all I have for you today. What did you think about my list? I really, really, really want your feedback. Do you think my list was unique? I know that y'all wanted to see this. Y'all voted twice that y'all wanted to see unique perfumes, so I had to get it done, and I hope I delivered. So if you are new to my channel, I do quiz you guys at the end of all of my videos just to see who's been rocking with me into the end or whatnot. And for today's video, let's let's get random. Let's get random. Leave me the berry emoji. So I know you guys made it until the end. I love you guys so, so much, and I will see you all in the next one.